Hi, I'm Miss Small. I'm one of the English literature teachers here at Bacon's. Um, I think when people ask me what can I do with English, um, I think not only about jobs but also about the kind of skills that English gives you. So obviously um, English will prepare you for being a journalist, a teacher, a librarian, um, being a web communicator, a barrister, any of those things. But I think What's more important is the fact that in English we take really great literary texts apart to see how they work and we really challenge students to develop their own interpretation and what they take away from that is intellectual self-confidence and um, ability to really face up to things that are difficult and overcome those challenges um, and they also develop great skills in sort of academic rigour and analysis and in writing and of course we also hope that they develop the kind of reading habits which will enrich their lives forever. So the A-level literature course is very wide ranging. Um, we study, there are three different components, um, prose which is obviously novels, uh, poetry and drama. So you will learn about each of those genres in, in great detail from specialist teachers. Uh, a lot of commitment is required to complete the reading before class and in between uh, and there's obviously a lot of contextual information to absorb as well. You also have the opportunity to complete a piece of coursework um, and so to tackle some texts of, of your choice in a way that really interests you. In my opinion, I feel like the best part about English literature is how much you contribute to the lesson. In other subjects that I do, um, most of the time the teacher leads the conversation and you have to contribute to it. But in English, it's the amount that you give back to the lesson is, is phenomenal. Um, I really like it. Uh, you have to be so independent. Uh, it's not just work outside of the lesson, but in the lesson as well. Uh, Another thing that I really like is uh, how much uh, it synergizes well with other subjects. It's um, the, the skills that it gives you. It's, it's, it's not just about the, the content, but what you will learn while doing it as well. Uh, it's really something that you don't want to miss out on. Uh, it's, it goes great with other essay subjects. Uh, if you're looking to get into geography, history, psychology, uh, sociology, all amazing, uh, all go great with English. Uh, so, um, a lot of you might be wondering, what can you do with English? Uh, it's not just um, journalism, uh, it's not just becoming a writer. It, it's, it's a gateway to other things as well. Uh, anyone looking to do politics, uh, law, uh, all great choices. So, what I find is great about English literature is that you get to explore new genres that you've never heard of before, which will in turn broaden your reading scope. So you're going to be able to read books that you've never heard of before and probably find new favourites even I found a new favourite while I was reading The Handmaid's Tale and then I ended up studying it for A-level as well. And something else that is good is that you get to share your own opinions about books or poems you've read and even plays. So you get to put your own opinion into um, what other people say and you get to debate them with your friends in class. And you get to learn so many other skills such as um, your own personal academic writing style you, it's not um, stru as structured as it was in GCSE, so you get to um, be yourself in your essays and then you get to critique other critics and debate them in class as well.